Hey everybody, I am Kara. Welcome back to Knowledge Work Nexus. Don't forget, if you love this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you get updates whenever any new video comes out. Today, we're picking up where we left off in the last video, and we're going to actually use the Tor template plugin in Obsidian to create our first template. And I'm going to use a meeting notes template for that first template because it's kind of utilitarian. You can use it for everything. Um, and just an FYI that if you are interested in getting a copy of any of the templates that I use, um, there is a link in the description below. And um, through October 1st of 2022, um, you can get my entire vault of all of the templates that I will demonstrate in this whole series um, for pay whatever you want. So you can get it for free if that's what you feel like it's worth to you. Um, or you can be super generous and give me $10 or $20 or whatever. Um, through October 1st of 2022, it'll be available at that cost. And then I'll probably put just a standard price tag on it. But the link is in the description below. So be sure to check that out. So we're going to create our first template. And the way that you create a template is really simple. Any note that you put inside of this templates folder on our screen becomes available to you as a template. So I'm going to right click here on template and create a new note inside of that folder. And I'm going to call this template meeting note. Now, the name of the template, the file name that you give it is kind of, it kind of doesn't matter. It's really just what you need to think about in order to find that template because you can fire this meeting note template and then give it its own name when you fire it. So don't worry about what you name it other than just making it easy for you to use. Okay. So I've got the name meeting notes here. And now um, in my template, I'm going to start to add in some data. Um, so one of the things that I'm going to add in is the title. Um, and I don't want to retype the title. So I'm just going to call it title. And I'm going to use a little trick that Nicole Vanderhoven uh, used. And if you have not checked out her channel, it's fantastic. I'll put a link in the, in the description below. Um, but I'm going to use a pound sign, first of all, to do a header. And then I'm going to put that title inside of two brackets. And the reason for that is that if you ever change the name of the file here um, after you fired that note, you'll get prompted to actually change the name of the title in the file as well, which is a really, really valuable benefit um, in my opinion. So then I'm going to start to type the different sections that I want to have in all of my meeting notes. Um, and so I'm going to type a uh, agenda and then I'm going to type a list of attendees. And I'm going to go ahead and put a bullet in there because I know, oops, because I know that I will have a, a bulleted list in there. And then I'm going to put in notes and then I'm going to put in action items. And I'm even going to go ahead and put in a task item because I know that I will end up putting it in there. Um, underneath the agenda, I'll also add a couple of bullets and oops, bullets, and I'm going to get a little bit fancier. Oops. And I'm going to add in uh, three dashes to create a little bar so that in between the agenda and the actual meeting notes, there are some, uh, some text. And I think once I delete that now, I can delete those out. So that bullet will stay there. Um, I also want to put the date of the meeting up here. I think I'll put that in bold. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to put the brackets in. And then I'm going to use um, the placeholder for date. And so I'm going to put in, oops, sorry, put in those two curly braces and the word date here. Okay. And then start. And then I'll just do time. Again, I'll put that in bold. And then again, just two curly braces. I'm not going to put that in front into brackets because there's just, there's really no reason to. I don't link to time, but I do link to date. Um, and we'll see what that looks like. So let's see what this looks like when I fire the template. So I'm going to close this so that I'm right here. And I'm going to do, uh, there's a couple of ways that you can fire a template. So let's look at that first. So let's look at control N to do a new note. And I'm going to call this staff meeting, uh, oh, wait, 2022. Oops. 2022 That's my standard date format. Um, and then I'm going to open the, the control P, the command module, and I'm going to do templates. 
and you'll get this templates insert template. Now remember right now we only have one template created our meeting notes template. So if I do this insert template, it's automatically going to insert that template because there's no choice for me to make. There we go. My staff meeting is in there. Notice that this automatically connects back to a daily note template with that date on it. And all of my boxes are there created for me. And then I can use that um, to go ahead and uh, enter in my staff meeting notes. Super simple. We'll be back in the next video to walk through creation of some additional templates and look at some other things that you can use with the templates plugin. Again, don't forget to like or subscribe so that you get notified anytime that I publish a video. Thanks, everybody. Bye.